David Miscavige, the controversial leader of the Church of Scientology, has long been a polarizing figure in both the realm of religion and popular culture. Rising through the ranks of Scientology from a young age, he has become synonymous with the Church's modern identity. However, his tenure has not been without its scandals, controversies, and allegations of abuse. This deep dive into the life and controversies surrounding Miss Cavendish offers a compelling look at the man behind the curtain of one of the most enigmatic and controversial religious movements in the world. The Early Years A Prodigy in the Making David Miscavige was born on April 30, 1960, in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. He grew up in a Catholic family but was introduced to Scientology in his teens. His father, a former member of the Navy, and his mother, a homemaker, divorced when he was young, which perhaps set the stage for his later ambitions. At the age of 16, Miscavige dropped out of high school to pursue a career in Scientology, showcasing a fierce dedication to the organization that would eventually make him its most prominent leader. His early involvement in the church was marked by his participation in Scientology's training films and events, where he quickly gained recognition for his skills. By his early 20s, he was working closely with the church's founder, L. Ron Hubbard, who recognized Miscavige's talent for organization and public relations. This relationship would lay the groundwork for Miscavige's ascent within Scientology a trajectory that would eventually lead him to take the reins of the organization after Hubbard's death in 1986. Ascension to Power, a new era for Scientology. After Hubbard's passing, Miscavige became the de facto leader of the Church of Scientology. His leadership style and the changes he instituted mark a significant shift in the Church's direction. Under his guidance, Scientology experienced a growth spurt both in terms of membership and financial wealth. Miscavige implemented a series of aggressive marketing campaigns and outreach initiatives, positioning Scientology as a legitimate and beneficial movement in the public eye. However, the Church's rapid growth under Miscavige also brought about significant controversy. His authoritarian leadership style was characterized by a zero-tolerance policy for dissent and criticism. Former members of Scientology have claimed that he ruled with an iron fist, often resorting to intimidation tactics against those who questioned his authority or the church's practices. Reports of harassment, physical abuse, and psychological manipulation became rampant, painting a troubling picture of the internal dynamics of the organization. Allegations of Abuse The Dark Side of Leadership As Miscavige's leadership continued, Numerous allegations emerged regarding his treatment of church members. Former Scientologists have described a culture of fear and violence within the organization, with Miscavige at its center. Allegations include physical assaults, forced labor, and psychological abuse. Reports detail incidents where Miscavige allegedly struck church members or forced them into confinement for questioning his authority or the church's practices. One of the most publicized allegations came from former church member Lee Remini, who has been vocal about her experiences within Scientology. In her 2015 book, Asterisk Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology, Asterisk Remini detailed her experiences in the church and her eventual departure. She claimed that Miss Cavage had a volatile temperament and often resorted to violent outbursts against members. Her accusations led to a broader investigation into the church's practices and sparked renewed interest in the controversies surrounding Miss Cabbage. Remini's revelations gained significant media attention, and her subsequent television series, Asterisk Lee Remini, Scientology, and the Aftermath, Asterisk explored the experiences of former members, exposing the alleged abuses within the church. The series presented a compelling narrative of the struggles faced by individuals who sought to leave the organization and highlighted the potential dangers of remaining within its confines. The response from Scientology In response to the growing scrutiny and allegations against Miscavige, the Church of Scientology has consistently denied any wrongdoing. The organization has described these allegations as fabrications by disgruntled former members seeking to tarnish the Church's reputation. 
Scientology has launched aggressive counter campaigns against its critics, often labeling them as suppressive persons, SPDs, and engaging in legal battles to silence dissent. The Church's official statements often depict Miscavige as a dedicated leader committed to the principles of Scientology and the legacy of L. Ron Hubbard. They argue that the Church has made significant contributions to society, including humanitarian initiatives, drug rehabilitation programs, and educational outreach. This portrayal stands in stark contrast to the allegations of abuse and mismanagement that have surfaced over the years. The Church's strategy to combat negative press often includes public relations campaigns aimed at highlighting its charitable work and positive contributions to society. However, these efforts have sometimes backfired, as former members and critics have used social media platforms to share their stories and garner support against the Church. Legal Battles and Public outcry, As allegations of abuse and misconduct surfaced, the Church of Scientology and Miscavige found themselves embroiled in a series of legal battles. Lawsuits filed by former members claimed emotional distress, physical abuse, and wrongful termination. While some cases were dismissed or settled out of court, the legal challenges highlighted the growing concern over the Church's practices. One particularly notable lawsuit involved former Church executive Marty Rathbun, who claimed he was subjected to intimidation and harassment after leaving the organization. Rathbun's case drew attention to the Church's practices of targeting former members and their families, raising questions about the lengths to which the organization would go to maintain control over its narrative. Additionally, Miscavige and the Church faced increased scrutiny from journalists and investigative filmmakers, who sought to uncover the truth behind the allegations. Documentaries such as Asterisk Going Clear, Scientology, and The Prison of Belief Asterisk brought attention to the dark side of Scientology, focusing on the controversial practices and leadership style of Miscavige. These films further fueled public interest in the Church and raised important questions about the nature of religious authority and accountability. This split with the Church, a growing exodus. The controversies surrounding David Miscavige have contributed to a growing exodus of members from the Church of Scientology. Increasingly, former members are sharing their stories, detailing their experiences within the Church and the impact it had on their lives. Many described feelings of isolation, manipulation, and fear, which prompted them to leave the organization and seek a new life outside its influence. As social media has become a platform for former members to share their experiences, a community of ex-Scientologists has emerged, providing support and solidarity for those who have left the church. This network has played a crucial role in raising awareness of the alleged abuses within Scientology and has helped countless individuals navigate the challenges of leaving a high-control group. The testimonies of former members have resonated with the public, further eroding the Church's credibility and influence. As more people come forward with their stories, the narrative surrounding Miscavige and Scientology continues to shift prompting greater scrutiny and concern over the organization's practices. Public Perception A Polarizing Figure David Miscavige's reputation has been shaped by a complex interplay of loyalty, fear, and controversy. For some, he remains a dedicated leader striving to advance the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard and Scientology's mission. For others, he is a symbol of abuse and authoritarianism within a religious organization that has long been shrouded in secrecy and scandal. Public perception of Miscavige has been influenced by a variety of factors, including media portrayals, the testimonies of former members, and the Church's own public relations efforts. While some continue to support his leadership, believing in the core principles of Scientology, Many others have come to view him as a figure synonymous with the organization's darker practices. The Church of Scientology has often tried to counteract negative public sentiment by promoting its humanitarian efforts and community outreach. However, the persistent allegations of abuse and the testimonies of former members continue to cast a shadow over the Church and its leadership, making it difficult for the organization to regain its footing in the eyes of the public. 
Miscavige's current status and future outlook. As of now, David Miscavige remains the leader of the Church of Scientology, but the controversies surrounding him continue to loom large. The organization has faced increasing challenges in maintaining its image and addressing the allegations that have surfaced over the years. With a growing community of former members willing to share their stories, the scrutiny on Miscavige and the church is unlikely to dissipate anytime soon. As new generations become more aware of the allegations and the inner workings of the Church of Scientology, Miscavige's future leadership will undoubtedly be tested. The organization faces the challenge of addressing the concerns raised by former members while simultaneously maintaining its commitment to the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard. In a world that increasingly values transparency and accountability, the Church of Scientology and its leadership may find it difficult to navigate the shifting tides of public opinion. As more individuals speak out against the Church, the future of Scientology and of David Miscavige remains uncertain. Conclusion A Legacy of Controversy David Miscavige's legacy is inextricably linked to the controversies surrounding his leadership of the Church of Scientology. From allegations of abuse and authoritarianism to legal battles and public outcry, his tenure has been marked by a tumultuous relationship with both the Church's members and the broader public. As the controversies continue to unfold, the narrative surrounding Miscavige is likely to evolve. Driven by the voices of former members and the ongoing scrutiny of the Church's practices, the complexities of his leadership will remain a topic of discussion and debate, as individuals grapple with the ethical implications of Scientology's practices and the accountability of its leaders. In the end, David Miscavige represents a powerful figure within a controversial organization, and his story is emblematic of the struggles faced by those who dare to challenge authority within a high-control group. Whether one views him as a visionary leader or a figure of oppression, the legacy of David Miscavige and the Church of Scientology will continue to be a subject of fascination and inquiry for years to come.